Hello Capricorns, welcome to your horoscope for January 2023. So what we've got coming up for this month ahead on the 4th of January, Venus goes into your second house, which is house of earnings, sort of self-worth. You might feel a bit better about yourself. Um, this could be a good time to start a new job um, or get promotion or get more income. Um, on the 13th of January, Mars goes direct finally in your sixth house, house of health. Um, Mars can be a strength or it can help you, but I always say it's a double-edged sword, so it also can be like frustrations or things coming up too. 19th, of Mer 19th, Mercury goes forward in your first house. This is going to be um, you feel you're more confident in your communication as well. You might, be, might even be thinking about yourself and where you're going to be going to the next year coming up too. And on the 28th, Venus is going to move into your third house, the house of siblings. What else you got going on with the planets? Um, this is a big year for you. You've got Pluto, which is going to be leaving your sign in March, going into Aquarius. So you're going from your first house into your second, um, but then going back later in the year, then 24 going permanently into Aquarius. So you've got a big year coming up at Capricorns. Then um, you've got Saturn, which is in your second house, so it can be problems with earnings. In March, that's going to be moving into your third with your siblings. Neptune will be in your third house for the whole year. This is going to be, it can cause dissolve with relationships with siblings, it could. Um, then you've got Jupiter in the fourth, so good for the home and family. But then by April, that moves into the fifth, which is better for relationships and children. Um, you've got Chiron in the fourth, so it can bring about a bit of pain and a bit of issues with family and with the home as well. Um, but I'll get more to those trends. It's more, those, more than in my 2023 video. Okay, so when I look at the cards here of Capricorns, it's like you're having to... Can we hang a judgment before? It's like you're preparing for something. Um, could be like judgment. Um, could be like trying to not be at a loss. But it's also a feeling of being overwhelmed or trapped too. Um, and you're wanting to get to establish some kind of freedom, but also normality, I feel like as well. I feel like things have been a bit, a bit chaotic around you of late. Um, I feel like this also could be do your work that's coming up. It's like you've gone through a big transformation or big change with your work. Um, you're slowly opening up, you're gaining more knowledge and more wisdom into what your what your chosen career profession is and it's time to sort of move out the safe lane and start to go ahead and and be like take charge and, and aim for it's like aiming for the stars um you've released a lot of emotion and let go of a lot of baggage a lot of stuff that's been holding you back in your career but now like you just want to head go straight forward and to see where the path is going to take you so you see um, but it's it's time like if we can't backtrack we can only go forward from here is what I feel um, the preparing for something could be also be for siblings um, there could be like an aspect of a sibling wanting like financial help or wanting some I'm here like financial disaster so there could be like helping them prepare for what's coming up there's also an aspect of maybe they're moving house or they're they're moving but I feel like their life is very much chaotic where they're, they're not in control of everything that's coming up here when I look at the home and family though it's pretty good for you Capricorns it's looking quite positive where everyone's getting along there's a communication it's like happy families but also I feel like there could be a, a situation where some of you are looking for a, a brand new home um, one to call your home forever or your forever, forever home but I feel like this is going to be a bigger house that you're looking for okay let's look at relationships okay um so relationships like you're going on a quest here and i feel like you're on a quest to try and make find the right partner or make everything complete or those who are even in, in a relationship themselves like you both you're on a quest together um it's about finalizing things or, or tying up loose ends um but it's also for some of you it's also about like wishing like you're wishing for the right person the right relationship when is my chance when's it going to come true um, but I also feel like this month, it is not a month to hide away. You've really got to try and break free of sort of cycles that are holding you back um, to move forward. It is, it is going to be 
a bit tricky this month for you Capricorns it's like you're not fully out there to be social and, and where you should be this month it's like you're holding it back a little bit but your career you really need to go forward with that when I look at the friends there's even like a tug of war or I said there's some sort of like issue having happening here with friends some sort of like tug of war or issue that's coming up here that you need to sort out as well I feel like by mid you will sort it by by mid um by mid year okay travel plans okay there could be an ending coming up this could be to do with like travel plans or any sort of educational plans um could even be like psychic stuff there's some sort of ending so it could also be like maybe you're trying to connect to spirit too and connect to people who have passed over it could be as simple as that um but there's like it could be some sort of like endings but it could also be about your spiritual path a lightning and beginning for you too with relationship with our money with money we've got money i feel like um you're saving up to money to maybe for you to move on to like for the house situation to buy the new house or move on to it's like we need to save up the money to then make a move and like you're moving i feel like it could be at your home um or even like trying to get some sort of transport and this is going to be a hard work this year for your capricorns it's going to be a hard transition with this plot of leaving your sign i feel okay then when we've got your health you're going to be quite stubborn this this month you need to be more flexible but i feel like you might end up being a little bit stubborn um and it's like you're trying to live life without regret but there is something that's holding you back a little bit um it could be to do like financial stuff but you're, you're by the end of the month i will say you are trying to break free from these holes that are on you and all this baggage and then move on to something to a lot better for February I just see what else I can get for you Capricorns Let's see Capricorns this is a year of transformation for you you are bright beautiful creatures and you are all adapting to life for these some of you this is hard for others it is trying to be flexible you're not a fixed sign but you're a cardinal sign so you're all about helping one another and helping others so you're trying to be the helper but really now you need to concentrate on yourself and see where you're emerging see where your path is going and see how far you have changed and how far you have evolved during these past years since 2008 when pluto first came into your sign it says the world has changed since then everything is changing around you and the transformation is almost complete by 2024 it is done so I only have a year and a part left so enjoy your time capricorns for this month will might be a struggle but february will come and it will be a lot easier for you and so will the year ahead for some of you okay thank you um for your likes shares and your comments and i will see you for my next video so happy new year and um we'll see whether you takes us bye for now